Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the very first edition of Aftermath in 2007. We are coming off the heels of Lord of the Ring 2007, and we are now on the road to Legacy, which is just under a month away, being taped on May 26th. We'll have more information on the air dates at www.wrestling.com and MCAM Channel 23 as we get closer to Legacy. But to kick off the very first edition of Aftermath in 2007, we've got DWI, Shatso Bannigan, and Troy Garbo in the ring for a very special edition of the Happy Hour. I understand they have multiple guests here tonight, so without further ado, and what a way to kick it off this week here on Aftermath, let's send it down to DWI for the Happy Hour. show of the happy hour today. Why? Because we have the reigning champ of over a year, freaking flat! And here comes guest number one to the happy hour this week as introduced by Chateau Bannigan, the man who has reigned for over a year as WAW champion, that man being freaking flat who successfully defended his WAW Championship last week at Lord of the Ring 2007 against Captain Vincent Zarello, not Major Morpheus Morenzi, he was not medically cleared to wrestle, but hey, let's take it back down to the happy hour. I think you have a title defense tonight. Hey, listen. Now, I won this title last year at Legacy. All right, now even that in itself was an honor. The fact that I managed to hold on to it for this long, even with the hiatus, 
I mean, I've had a handful of title defenses under my belt. And just like last week at Lord of the Ring, I walked out with the title. Same I'm going to do tonight against Todd Zopel in our Legacy Flash Pack match. Oh. Walking out. Oh. Longest reigning champ of all time. Over a year. Greer. <laughs> But you win, let's say you win tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about next week? Well, I mean, I'll just win the title again. I mean, I'll walk out like I'm doing tonight. And then, All right, yeah. so then, then what about next week after that? I mean, I could just have a gimmick match. I'll probably end up winning that one, too. And, and after that? Well, I know, Legacy's And coming. that? Well, then you got the, and that? Well, I have to, you have contenders. What? And, what, huh? What's wrong with you, man? Come ask me a question. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I, okay, I got a question. Okay. I got a question. I think everybody wants to know this. Because I think they saw the last thing they saw at, uh, at Lord of the Ring was you talking to Carnage. I think everybody wants to know what you said to Carnage. What I said exactly to Carnage? Lord of the Ring? I said, hey, K Man, you won Lord of the Ring. I have a Lord of the Ring under my belt. You know what else I have? I have the belt. You got a couple of boot marks on your head and a reconstructed knee, and I'll see you at Legacy. That's what I told you. <laughs> And here comes yet another guest here at the happy hour. It is the winner of the 2007 Lord of the Ring match, Carnage, along with the Dark Messiah, Gino Diomedes, together known as the Cult of the Dead. And for those of you confused at what Shatso Vanagan is talking about, after we went off the air last week, there was a face-to-face -face between freaking Flax and Carnage, and that rock and roll brawl came to a close. Just to clear up that confusion, and let's take it back to the happy well, hour. I, I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have done that. Right? Yeah, I'm not cute, please. I'm good. Okay. Well, Carnage, uh, well, I guess the obvious question is, what were your thoughts? First of all, I didn't say this last week, but it feels damn good to be back here at WWE. Yeah. Even more so, it feels better to know that I'm going to go on to Legacy and become the two-time WAW champion when I beat you. Because I am the two-time Lord of the Rings. But as many know, back in 2005 when I won my first Lord of the Ring and my first WAW championship, the road was a bit bumpy. Bumpy is in two weeks, you lost it, Bumpy. No, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> as many know, on the way to Legacy in 2005, Sid got into my head, leading to my demise out of the cold. But ever since then, me Gino, wipe the slate clean, water on the bridge, a fresh new start, and a new start to a new cult. Yeah, cult of dead. No, alright. <laughs> hey. right. Hold on. He's not gonna high five me. Why is he gonna high five? I thought it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The only thing that, could, that came out of that was I did end up walking away at Legacy with the WAW Championship. And I did it going against two of the most sadistic bastards to ever grace a WAW Championship. You mean, you mean Toxic and Katie? <laughs>
As you were saying, what? What? Spitting all over? What? Anyway, after I won my belt. Yeah, you hurt your knee, Full Metal Jack Offs got to you, and you know, there was a whole conspiracy, yes. you were out, and you're back in, yeah. Right. Shut up! Full Metal Jacket got involved Fuck and cut my title range short by injuring my knee. <laughs> I'm bound to get back in this ring as fast as I could. I busted my ass. I went through hell and back to get my knee back into the right condition, 100%. Only to be cut off by moves at the apocalypse. Oh, I'll screw that guy. Now, Coming back to WAW and becoming the Lord of the Rings second time is great. It's awesome. I love it. But it's not actually the only reason I came back. The main reason I came back the Apocalypse Tournament match kept going off in my head over and over again. Replaying it and to get screwed out of a title shot like that is just it's horrible. It's dang right. Say something to Dang. Dang, oh God, Yeah, we're those. <laughs> let me finish. I'll let him finish. I just want my shoulder. <laughs> I didn't even get asked if I wanted to tap out. At all. No one said, hey, you want to tap out? I lunged the ropes. I missed. My hand hit the floor. He rang the bell. I'm like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, we have some dumb referees here. Yeah. Today. I mean, really stupid. Yeah. But that is the most Boneheaded call I've ever seen in any promotion in my life. I got screwed, plain and simple, and I came back to get answers. And I don't care if I have to run through every single referee in the back and question them personally. I'm going to get answers. And when I do, there's going to be blood. Oh, yeah, blood. You know something about that, right? No? So, so it's obvious to me that there might be something between carnage and flax in the, in the future, obviously, yeah, right? Legacy, obviously, yeah. legacy, that's right! Yeah, that's right, yeah, that's right. Is that what that is for that? Well, actually, what, you think there's gonna be something between me and Carnage? I think so! You wanna see, like, maybe a match featuring Carnage and yeah. WWE Champion Freakin' Flax? Is that what you wanna yeah. see? a tag team match to kick things off this week here on Aftermath. It is going to be TWI against the Cult of the Dead with the WAW champion freaking Flax as the special guest referee. I think you might want to say that TWI is at an extreme disadvantage in this contest. They're against two former WAW champions and one man who is a Hall of Famer in Gino Diomedes. Shatter has been in the ring with both Carnage and Gino Diomedes before, but Troy Garbo has never tasted the wrath. That is the cult of the dead, and I think he's about to do so. Run right into the corner by Carnage, and a power slam out of the corner as well. We got a cover, we got two, and Garbo picks up. Tag to Gino Diomedes. Carnage has got Garbo up into a backbreaker. Leg drop down and nearly decapitating Troy Garbo's head from his shoulders. Garbo! Garbo you know, Diomedes now going up for all 10. Flipping neckbreaker takes Troy Garbo down. You know, Diomedes now up on his feet. Could it be the completion? Dead Razor kick. Right to the side of the head of Troy Garbo, the good old boy. 
been taking to school right now by the former four-time WAW champion, the Dark Messiah, Gino Diomedes, hammering away on Troy Garbo. Now we got the dead kicks in the corner, but Garbo counters, and Diomedes to the floor, but Diomedes grabs the legs of Troy and pulling him out to the floor. Knee to the stomach now. Gino Diomedes up on the ring apron. What are we gonna see here? Flipping leg drop to the back of the head of Troy Garbo. Garbo is down on the floor. He looks yeah, like he's dead. Come on, Troy! I don't think Troy knows where he is right now. He's holding his head. He's taking quite a bit of punishment thus far. Jack O'Bannigan is yet, yet to get in the ring thus far. Now it looks like we got Carnage and Chateau Bannigan in on the uh, tagless rule. I think it was stretched a little bit there by freaking Flax because Troy Garbo did not leave the ring willingly, so I don't know how O'Bannigan got the ring, but whatever. If I understand the rule correctly, I could understand it wrong. Who knows? O'Bannigan hammered away, but he gets close line by Carnage. Chateau Bannigan trying to get a little bit of offense in for DWI, but to no avail as Carnage once again takes the upper hand. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to throw up on that one, man. Right. I think O'Bannigan's yeah, about to puke. Right. All right. I, I just said I was going to... I'm still wrestling. I'm still Oh, kick right to the stomach. By Carnage on Chats O'Bannigan. O'Bannigan now trying to recover as Carnage waits for him. O'Bannigan slowly getting back up on his feet. Freaking Flax talking to Gino Diomedes in the corner. O'Bannigan does not know what is going on here. I think he, uh, think he got a little uh, sauced up before he came out here tonight, as the usual, but I think a little more sauced than usual. STO by Carnage takes O'Bannigan down. This could be all. Carnage with some sort of submission here on Chats O'Bannigan. Not and quite sure what it is. Looks like, like something I've seen somewhere else, just a little you modified. Me, oh, not quite sure. Oh, I've seen this move in uh, other forms of sport, and Chateau Bannigan taps out to this submission hold. I know I've seen it before, just can't put my finger on it. Either way, Carnage and Gino Diomedes with a successful victory here to kick off the very first aftermath of 2007. Breaking Flax raising the arm of Carnage. What's going on here? Your winners, the cult of the dead. Do you see? Do you see how powerful the cult of the dead is? Sing is powerless to stop us. He tried to be my mirror image to make a name for himself, to establish a career for him. Well, Sting, you are established, so it's time to go out and find yourself. Now, I think it's funny that he tried to counter the cult with the kindred, but the kindred fell apart because Sting left the dark man's respect and obedience and loyalty. Or, it could be that Jeff Ducharm, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Psycho Production can edit that out if you don't like it with Sue Busy on MySpace bashing WAW at Legacy 2007. There will be a new champion, and that man is Carnage. Whoever the champion is, come Legacy, they will bear the call. Gino Diomedes with some very strong words for Christian Sane and well, even Jeff, Mr. Psycho Dushan, who is taking his leave from WAW and very notorious for a few MySpace blogs. Definitely MySpace has made its way into WAW, but it has. Will Carnage be the champion at Legacy? The action continues coming up next here on Aftermath.